Hi there, welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie, and today we are continuing on the mom junk journal, or just a journal. There's, I guess it was made out of a cereal box. That would be considered the junk, right? <laughs> this is part three, I believe. And today I am going to be, um, today I'm going to be sewing in the signatures and maybe doing like adding in some pockets or belly bands or tuck spots, things like that. Um, so yeah, hopefully it won't be too long of a video and let's get started. My signature is mostly prepped and ready to go. My signatures, I have three. Um, this is all scrap of paper that I coffee dyed. They all came from the same um, paper pad. I don't know which one. It was one that I've had in my collection for a very long time and I kind of went, I need to get rid of some of these paper pads so I can get new ones. So figured out a way to use the entire paper pad of what I had left. So I did make this pocket. I need to make two more. One is like halfway done and the other one is a quarter of the way done. I don't know. It's like folded in half. I, I scored and folded. So <laughs> we will start there. But isn't that going to be so fun? love it. So yeah, I coffee dyed everything and then I ripped all the edges except for on the pockets. I will not be able to have ripped edges, but maybe I can distress them a little bit. I did not grab any glue. Okay, we will use this glue today. And my phone is not wanting to connect. Oh dear, my phone's not wanting to connect to my computer, computer again. So I can't see really what you guys see, which is always frustrating. So I just, well, I'll show you what I did on the other one. Oh my, it's not holding at all. There it goes. I guess this, this glue just takes longer to grab than the other glues I've used in the past. It almost makes you feel like it's not going to stick. It kind of makes it hard to use when you have like a longer strip and you can't really hold it all at once. Okay, there we go. Now for the pocket part, these fold up and I'm just gluing right here. I'm gonna give this another good crease. Okay, how is everyone doing? How was everyone's weekend? This past weekend was Easter, and we had a good time. We went to the local farm, and they had shows, and then they normally have like um, pony rides and 
zip lines and obstacle courses and like one of those big jumping pillows and slides and whatnot. So it's, it's fun for the kids. Um, so we did that. My brother came down from the Phoenix area or came up, I should say. Came up from the Phoenix area and stayed with us the weekend. That was fun. So he doesn't get a lot of home cooked meals. So I try to cook for him when he comes. So we had pizza and we made some burgers. And I made a breakfast on Easter. So we had a good time. So that's done, very simple. Do I want to trim that up? Maybe when it's all fully dry. I don't feel like it is. Okay. Let's work on this one. And I will need a ruler. And I did not score this. How thick did I make these pockets? I did this a while ago, This these signature pieces. I think it was after the new year, but still, it's been a little while. And we all know I'm not very good at measuring. Looks like three and a quarter. Okay, it is scored. Okay, I think I only went out like a half inch. It is hard to say. Okay. So half inch, half inch. And then I don't need to draw a line because I'm just gonna cut from score line to the half inch mark. And take my little knife here. other side and this hold on I'll explain why I'm doing this once I don't have a sharp knife in my hand I'm having a hard time seeing my score line up top oh, of course that didn't cut all the way through Um, there we go. When you're cutting with a craft knife, light pressure, more passes. It's the best way to go. Okay. All right. And what that does is it just removes the bulk in the fold of your signature. So now this can fold easier without that double layer of paper. If that makes sense. I usually try to do that if I put a pocket in the center of a signature. If you have lighter paper, it might not feel so necessary, but this is thick scrapbook paper, so. does help. Oh, what we didn't do. That was why. Oh, it was three and a half. And then I folded down a quarter of an inch. Yeah, I forgot to do the fold down on this one. You know, I don't think that was super necessary. I mean, it looks nice, but on this one, I will just leave it as is because I forgot to do it. And I'm gonna close this pocket up. Mm. 
Stick, 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 stick. Come on. Getting glue everywhere. Ooh, that was a nice glue bead. Okay, why are we not sticking? All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. And then fold that in. I probably should have shown the cover of the mom journal so everyone knew what I was talking about. Since we're all new here, nobody's really following along, following along yet. Okay. Ready. So that one has its pocket. This one goes here. do stick out in a way that I don't particularly like so I'm we'll probably add some trim or something but we'll do any kind of decorating or pocket placing or whatnots after I get them bound in. I think I am at the point where it's time to sew them in. Grab the cover and need to do. Look, I already put stuff in that pocket. <laughs> okay, yes. So in the last video, we decorated the cover here and we made this pocket and did a little decoration here. So that was part two and I'll link them all below. Um, yeah, part one was making the foundation of the cover. Part two was decorating. Okay. Part three is putting in the signatures. So this is about a two inch spine. Where's my pencil? Okay. Start at the bottom. I guess about an inch up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see that. And then at a half inch and three quarter inch, or one and three quarter inch, I should say. Sorry. For the two inch spine. Can I see those markings at all? I see one of them. I'm struggling to put my holds in for some reason. Okay. There's one. This one needs to move over. This one, I can't see. I have no idea where it is. I think it's right here. Okay. Oh, that's what I, I haven't made a journal in a while. I usually make a template. That makes it easier because then you just lay it right down and poke right through it. Yeah. Next time I'll do that. This is just for me, so it's gonna be okay. How do I want to poke the holes? I don't have a pokey tool, really. I 
have a T-pin. Or I have a crocodile, but that makes really big holes. I don't know if poking the holes is gonna make me be able to see it better. Next time we'll make a template and do it correctly. This time we're just winging it. Okay, my holes are punched in the cover. So then what you would do is you would make a template to go inside your, um, go inside your signature. I'm just gonna flip the center page inside out, lay it down, having a hard time seeing that hole. And wow, these are a lot smaller than my cover. I did not realize that. I thought they fit better. Okay. So right there. Right there. And right here. And I'm going to do that with all three of them. All the center signatures are marked. Now we poke our holes. And now I'm trying to keep them in order. That's important. Now I have a lot of room in my cover. So I'm not worried about like my papers being lined up or together perfectly. Plus they all have ripped edges. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. If you do have a cover that you know is, is tighter to your signature, then you want to make sure all your pages are fitting within that. Um, unless you want them sticking out the top or the bottom. I don't think there'd be anything wrong with that. I'm just paper clipping these so once I poke the hole, they stay in the same place because that will be very important. Put them back in order and preferably right side up. <laughs> and this one is not sitting tight in itself. gonna poke my holes and it should go quick just don't poke yourself <laughs> get your fingers out of the way That's front. I watch a few junk journal makers and they all do something different. Everyone has their own style and technique of 
doing things. It's there isn't one right way. I should get a better pokey tool though. <laughs> a proper all. Ooh. Okay. I need to pick, I'm just gonna fold these in the book like this. <gasps> Look at that. It's beautiful. I love seeing the sides of books with all the pages and everything. I have to pick thread. So this is all embroidery floss. Um, this is a different brand. I use, what is it, DNC? I think it's is the brand, the common one. D, yeah, DMC is the one I use for like all my cross stitching. So these are the ones I use for my journal binding. Um, there are DMCs in here, but they're all this. Um, I don't do like embroidery per se, so seven cents. Amazing. <laughs> These are all gifted to me by my grandma as well. Um, but I love these for journal binding. Purple would be my go-to because I love purple and it goes with the color scheme. Could also do blue. Could also do black. I don't think I have black in here. Black I use a lot in my cross stitching. Oh, I do have some black in here. I like this color, it kind of matches that. I think, I think I'll go with this one. It's nice and bright, I like it. All right, have some beeswax. I need some snippy things. Scissors will do. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with the back signature. to figure out if I want it if I want the dangles inside the signature or on the outside I was thinking on the outside that might be too fussy though if I'm gonna have a closure dangling and then I have that lace dangling it might be too much dangling this is just beeswax get a needle. And I do keep all six ply of the embroidery floss. Okay, so we'll start in the center of the signature. It's not going in. I'll do one with you guys and then I'll sew the other ones in so you don't have to see me fuss with this. And you wanna make sure you're going in the right holes. So it's sitting in the 
um, right place in your spine. There we go. Oh, this one isn't too bad. And then I will need to make sure that I don't sew this lace down. Oops, come on. Might not have given myself enough thread. I don't think I did. it again. Yeah, my needle's too long. Make my thread longer next time then it'll be too long I do ha like having longer pieces in the center but I usually, when I cut it, I usually still have like way too much and I end up cutting it down. So I didn't think I would have this little of thread left, but that's okay. All right, one is in. Do you guys want to see another one <laughs> since that one wasn't done very well? Okay, let's, what well, they usually say three, but then that usually ends up being too much. All right, that's three. The lengths of the book, not the, where my holes are. What is that? Something is bouncing around. Oh, I think I sliced off a piece of beeswax. Okay, my dog is snoring, probably can't hear him, but he is quite loud. Okay, let's try this again. Make sure everything's right side up. Same with this one, go in through the center. Now this one's going to be fussy. Okay. All right. Make sure, yep, we're going through the lace. Don't want that. bigger knot for myself so I am just going to undo the thread off the needle and pull that through there we go okay center Nope. 
I got through, but then I don't know where the needle went. Where are we? What is happening? Come on, go in. I don't know where it's going. Can't see. All right, pull this off so we can guide this through each page. Pull it through the book, maybe that will help. Forget how long this needle is. Come on, come on. Where are you? Okay. There we go. Well, not really, but. Got through the one it was hung up on. It's not, it's not hard. It's just fussy. I promise. Like, everyone can do this. All the way down. Doesn't even feel like there's a hole there. Just ready to poke like a new hole with my needle <laughs> instead of trying to fish it through my existing one. Yep, there we go. That might tear. Come on. Why aren't you pulling? What is wrong? Wow, that teared really far down. It's tearing on both sides. That's not good. I didn't even pull it that tight. Okay. All right, now. I need to make sure things are somewhat tight. But this is already tearing a lot. we got going on here. It looks like I split the thread. Okay. Tie a knot.
Got a bunch of hair in there already. Now I will trim this to fit inside the pages. See, now we have a whole bunch left over. Plus all this too. And then if you have beads or charms, that would be really cute to tie on the ends. I don't really have anything like that. So I'm just going to put a little knot so it doesn't come undone. I don't think I did on that first signature, did that on the first signature, but I will go back and do that. Okay, I'm going to do the, the last one and then I will come back. I hope me fumbling through that does not discourage anyone from trying to make a book or a journal if they want to make one. Um, like I said, it is a bit fussy to do, but it's not hard. And I'm sure like having the proper tools helps as well. Um, the needle I use, I've never used it to bind a journal and it was way too long and I will not be using that again to, to do this, but the spine looks cute inside is so fun full of um torn up co coffee dye papers so it's a lot of fun and the signatures are pretty much the same there's like a couple of papers like i only have one of this one and one of this purple one but I had two of the brown, so yeah. But it will be fun to decorate and add things to, and hopefully over time it will sit a little bit better. Okay, what are we at? I don't know, a lot's gonna get cut out. I did want to maybe do um, some somewhat of a decoration. It's it's gonna be a more functional thing. I just I have this idea. I want to see if it works. Oh, sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee. What time is it? have to go soon to get everyone ready to go to school. Okay. Um, I have all my scraps. These are like the pieces that I ripped off. And I want, I'm gonna start here. Usually, I decorate my pages before I bind them in, but since this is going to be like a gradual build thing, I guess I need to get used to um, having to <laughs> decorate pages that are already bound in the book. I love this one. Very similar color though. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have anything that really pops off. Oh, this one will do. It's kind of plain, but it will do. Okay. I am gonna tear this edge and then I am going to tear it there this is kind of bothering me but I don't really want to cut it off because if this is going to be a tuck spot it, um, this probably could be a little bit shorter. I, I just, I need that space. Okay. I need to get like a giant clippy thing, I guess, to... <laughs> I don't think... 
I don't think my giant uh, paper clips are gonna be big enough. Let's see. Oh, I got it on there. There we go. That's helpful. Okay. So what I want to do, all these are folded in half. All right, where did it go? Oh. Get some elastic, a little bit more than what I need. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if it will hold the way I want it to hold. Want to fold it under there. And then I want to oh, staple it to this page. Will the staple hold the elastic? Does anyone know? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna tape this down in the back. Just try to help myself out here. This tape is too long. Okay. Okay, let's I think the concept I have here is a good idea. I just don't know if it's going to work <laughs> and function the way it functions in my head. Okay. Now I just want to staple this in. Now the other side. Oh, I might have put it too far over this way for what I want this to do. That's okay. I'm going to do this in all three of the signatures. Not on camera, but I thought this was, um, I forgot to glue it down to make it a duck spot. Well, now it's a belly band. Okay. Okay, so belly band, things can just kind of sit in here like this. This, I'm thinking for like cards. Um, I have this one sitting here. It's kind of big, but cards that I get from the kiddos, at least the most recent ones, can kind of slide in there like that. I wanted it to, well, I mean, now that sticks out of the cover, but that's okay. I did want it over just a little bit more so you could kind of put it all the way through, but that's cute. And then it just kind of becomes another page. This card needs help. Okay. Yeah, I like it. That doesn't go in there. All right, anything else? I feel like the video's getting long, but I also feel like I didn't really do anything in the video. Um, I just kind of struggle with, I love this paper, um, I, what was I saying? I struggle with like being efficient 
in making these. I don't know. They take time. They take, they take time. Okay. Um, let's just, let's put a pocket. A pocket. I want like, I want more tuck type spots, not pockets necessarily. And then it can be decorated. Again, this is for me, and it's going to be something that builds gradually, and it's going to be decorated with things that are given to me by my kids, or made, or you know, what, whatever pieces come along. Um, so I don't, and I, I won't, I won't be filming that. I don't want to show my kids here. So if I'm using pictures and stuff, but what I do want to do in the next video is make some kind of envelope or something that can go in here that can hold all these scraps because I do want to use these as I decorate this um, journal. So I'm thinking just like way on this back page, just have like some sort of envelope system that I can shove all these in and then pull from as I need them. So that's my thought. Um, I think, where did it go? I think this is a cute idea. It just needs to be moved over. I guess I could take the staples out. That wouldn't be very difficult. I have a staple remover. So I could do that and shift it over. So I could do that off camera. But yeah, this is my mom journal. It is complete for now. Well, I gotta, I have things to go in here. So I gotta put them in here. But yeah, I will be back hopefully tomorrow with another video making that envelope to hold all my scrap papers that go with this journal. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel inspired and motivated. I know I struggled, but it's not hard. I promise anyone can do this. Thank you again for joining me. Let's get together again soon. Hello. I felt I needed to come back and put my closure on because, um, well, this book needs some training because it pops open. <laughs> um, I guess laying flies, it's okay, but I'm going to have it on a shelf or on my desk just sitting there and it's going to fling open. So I I'm not really not sure. <laughs> How? I gotta get this out though. Is that long enough? I don't want it. So what I'm thinking is have two pieces, loop it through here, and then tuck it through on each side, and then those can be tied together. I guess longer is better, right? because we can always cut it off. I just don't want to be too wasteful.
and I just tie little knots on the end so it doesn't completely come unraveled. Okay, and then I'm gonna make them the same length. There we go. Okay. That way, if like I end up not liking, you know, having a closure, I can take it off too. There we go. That one's easy. And I'll just tie. Oh dear. <laughs> there we go. Tie it closed. There.